Hi, my name is Scott Woods and I'm the Technical Communications Product Manager here at Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be covering the new animation library workshop within SolidWorks Composer. This workshop automatically creates animation steps based off of simple property inputs and can really cut the time invested to develop procedural animations. For this first video, I'm going to be using this drill press model and create an animation that demonstrates how to maintain and replace the belt that's under the top cover. The first thing I want to do is clean up the model. That's going to be changing any colors and environmental properties to get the model looking how I want it before bringing it into the timeline. For this model, I changed many of the parts to aluminum, metal, or chrome. I also colored several components green. For the environmental properties, I adjusted the lighting mode and added ambient occlusion. I also turned on the ground and adjusted the properties to have a slight shadow, a reflection, and I also removed that grid pattern that comes in by default. In common practice, I typically fully clean up the model and create a new view with my changes before starting the animation process. This really helps with property consistency within the timeline and making an update later from the updated SOLIDWORKS model a lot easier. To start this animation process, I need to switch to animation mode. This is done by clicking the icon in the upper left of the viewport. To prep the timeline for the automatic workshop animation, first I need to drag and drop the updated view I made into the first frame of the animation timeline. I also like to bring the same view in about two seconds after the first frame. This creates a slight pause in the animation before it starts to move and really just makes it easier to watch after the video has been published. I then want to zoom into the cover and set the camera key in the timeline at about four seconds. The animation library workshop is located in the workshops tab under the publishing category. Currently, there are two animation library groups, which are highlight and motion. The highlight group controls various properties to bring attention to any particular 3D actor. In Composer, parts are referred to as 3D actors, where the motion group adds movement to a 3D actor to show things like assembly and disassembly. Under each group, there are several animation functions. Each highlights or moves the selected model a little differently, so you really want to play around with them and see what they have to offer. Also remember, all actions can be adjusted before and after you create the animation, directly from the Animation Library Workshop, which I'll be showing here in just a second. So let's go ahead and apply the first automatic animation. In this case, I want the cover to flash, to bring attention to it, and then I want it to remove from the assembly and disappear, so that I can see the belt. There is a single action for just this, and it's under Motion Remove. I need to select the cover, then make my adjustments in the workshop. On the right are all the settings for this particular workshop. I'm going to leave most of these as the default setting, but I want the cover to translate vertically on the Y axis. By default, this is set to the Z axis. To do this, I can just key it in or click on the axis button and pick any axis on the model. For this example, I'm gonna go ahead and key in two units for the vertical translation and click create. Now, when we play the animation, you can see how it takes all the property settings from the workshop pane on the right and uses them to develop the animation. If I wanted to make any adjustments to this animation, I can select the step that was just created. Now the create button on the right will then turn into an update button and all I need to do is make some setting changes such as end time, let's change the color, and repetition. Click update and watch the update take place. And now that the cover has been removed, we have access to the belt. For this next step, I'm going to select the starting location for the step, and I'm going to choose a couple seconds from where the last one ended. I then select the belt and pick an automated animation to bring the belt to life. There are quite a few automated options to do just this. For this example, I'm going to pick Highlight Focus, which will cause the belt to flash a few times and then change color permanently. This brings attention to the belt and then keeps that attention on the belt after this step is finished. From here, I'm gonna take a little detour and go outside of the automated library to increase the scale of the belt. Because we need to show that it, we need to stretch it in order to remove it. Now that the belt has been stretched, I'm going to use the remove animation from the animation library workshop and repeat the steps we did for the top cover. Now we need to install the new belt. To do this, select the belt that was removed in the last step and pick a time selection a couple seconds out from the last step. For this step, I'm going to use Motion Install. 
Now, since this part was currently translated two units of 100 along the positive y-axis, I want to make sure that when I create this new step, that it's going to translate two units of 100 along the negative y-axis. So it will reinstall back where it used to be. Once all settings look correct, hit create. And now that the new belt is in place, I'm going to repeat the same steps I did to expand the belt, but this time in reverse to restore its original shape. And there we go. We have just created an assembly for the belt replacement. Let's take a look at the entire animation. As you can see, we have a clean, clear, nearly automated animation that is easy for anyone to follow. So in today's video, we covered the new animation workshop and how to use the preset animations on any selected part. We also covered some basic setting controls and updating existing animation steps. Keep in mind that we use parts here, but these animations can be applied to any assemblies, sub-assemblies, and both parts and grouping of parts within Composer. Thanks for watching.